Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, before we get to the content, I just want to say we are so close to 100 subs. We are at 91 right now, and I will be doing a Q&A once I hit 100 subs. Thank you to Raul Sports for having that idea for me. But anyway, let's get right to the content. So a few days ago, LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers were playing a game in Atlanta when this lady started vlogging her experience of the game. And she was clearly out to get LeBron a little bit. So here's what happened. Her husband was jawing a lot with LeBron and they were cussing each other out until it got out of hand. Of course, courtside Karen, as the internet is now calling her, was not happy about this, and she called him a <laughs> Now, after the game, LeBron James talked about this situation, and he said that he did not think that the courtside Karen ejection was necessary. He said he liked that fan interaction again drawn with the fans. Apparently, there are six NBA arenas that allow fans this season in the NBA, but they are limited, and Atlanta is one of them, and that is how this sequence came to be. Now, apparently, this 25-year-old courtside Karen person has an Instagram account where she shows photos of herself doing fancy things and showing off her fancy stuff. And here is what courtside Karen said about her ejection from the game. Let me tell you, LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out, and I stood up and I go, don't talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will you up. Players, coaches, and the NBA media and other people involved in the NBA reacted in strange and weird ways on Twitter, and I think some of these tweets are very interesting. Now, LeBron James reacted to Courtside Karen on Twitter, saying, Courtside Karen was mad, mad, mad. Quinn Cook replied to LeBron James's tweet as he tweeted out hashtag courtside Karen and a bunch of laughing emojis. Montrez Harold tweeted big dog a fool lol laughing emoji. Nick Young hashtag swaggy p said so Braun out of nowhere said big game I just want to talk to this person randomly lol I'm gonna stop the game and just talk to this person for no Ja Morant tweeted a bunch of laughing emojis. Miles Turner tweeted, Nah, dog, this is hilarious. Not on the first day of Black History Month. Alex Caruso tweeted, crying emojis, hashtag courtside Karen. Richard Jefferson tweeted, honestly, I think LeBron should have been ejected for taunting. Terrence Ross says she's going to tell this story for the rest of her life. Matt Barnes says, who stole her butt? Isaiah Thomas goes, ha 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 ha. Jared Dudley tweeted, bruh. Kendrick Perkins said, who then a bunch of laughing emojis. Rookie magic guard Cole Anthony says, Karen gotta go. The goat Mario Hazonia says, wait, what? Ha 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 ha, laughing emojis. Alfonso McKinney tweeted laughing emojis. The rapper Drake says, she off those season ticket holders. So those were the NBA players Twitter reactions and then let's hear what lebron had to say hey that's uh i'm happy fans are back in the building i miss that interaction i need that interaction we as players need that interaction the fans players media and everyone in the building didn't exactly what was going on with lebron
games and courtside Karen. No one really knew what was going on until that one play when everything just got out of control. And this is what the news had to say about courtside Karen. On social media, the basketball great dubbed her courtside Karen. And the name has really taken off on social media. Her real name is Juliana Carlos, and she and her husband and two others got the boot. Before the game, she posted video showing her posing courtside with her. As I show you this video clip, everyone in the arena just stopped, and it is clear what is going on. LeBron is drawn with a fan right here. The game has stopped, and the announcers were talking about bringing courtside Karen out of the arena, which happened. Then, this is what the announcers had to say about the 25-year-old woman. Got a lot of uh, jawing going on, uh, the front row, and uh, look at that. And now the uh, security is getting involved. And the security is actually, I mean, the referees are actually telling the security they may want to usher somebody yeah. uh, to the, out, out of the building. They might be gone. I think this was happening also. Somebody was all over LeBron. And they're still on LeBron. I think that's what yeah, it is. a few minutes ago, and I know he was glaring into the seats. So that is the story of Courtside Karen. Please like and subscribe, turn notice on, and as always, fellas, we are Hyper Hooper Basketball, and we are out.